So we just finished hauling all the cows and their calves home. I'm getting inundated by Asian beetles here because it got warm today. It's a beautiful mid-October day. It's about to get snowy and cold, which is hard to believe. But uh, anyway, I want, I've been thinking a lot about um, Lucky and luck, which is simply where opportunity meets preparation or preparation meets opportunity. I hear a lot, oh, you're so lucky to get to live the life that you live. And I have to stop and think. I really feel blessed. I feel very fortunate. But it's not luck that lets us do what we do. It's hard work. It's constantly thinking ahead and um, communicating and finding the right opportunities and um, working hard every day. And we love that. And working hard, I don't say that in a bad way. We love our daily work. It's not drudgery. We don't dread getting up and, oh, I have to go do chores today. I have to shovel cow poop out of a trailer today. Every day is different. And yes, I'm shoveling cow poop and it's very satisfying. But you know, Think about how you may react. What if you see something or somebody who has what you want or you see a lifestyle you want or you see whatever it is that you would want and do you ever find yourself saying, oh, they're so lucky. Stop yourself a minute and ask yourself, uh oh, one of these little suckers went down my shirt and they bite. Ah! Real life people, um, real life. Anyway, um, so ask yourself, why do I feel like I'm saying they're really lucky? Because you also need to stop yourself and ask, do I want to commit to the day-to-day -day that it takes to live their lifestyle? Because it's really easy to see the end goal or even if it's not the end goal, it's easy to see the point in time where they are. The light's really weird in this trailer, but anyway. It's easy to see that point in time and say, wow, I'd love to have that. But do you ever stop and think, I would love to do what they do every day to get that. Try that on for size because it's different. It doesn't mean it's bad. We love our daily activities and it's different every day. There's challenges. It's fun. We embrace all of it. We like hard work and because it's satisfying. We have a sense of accomplishment. We, we have a lot of critters that depend on us and it's such a great feeling to know that we're giving of ourselves in service to help them have the best life for whatever they're destined to be. And, you know, thinking about that instead of next time saying, oh, they're so lucky they have a really nice car. They're so lucky they, they get to live that farm life or, oh, they're so lucky they homeschool. Well, how about try this on? I wonder what they do every day to get to do that lifestyle. I wonder if I should, instead of saying, oh, I wish I could have that, say, I would like to do what they do every day to get that and see how it feels. And you know what? If it's what you love, do it. More power to you. You should be doing it. If it's not, then stop yourself from saying, oh, they're so lucky because what it does is it steals from you and your purpose. And it, it just makes a, a sense of comparison, right? And jealousy. And those are not emotions that are constructive or productive. So, we want to, there, why didn't I turn that way before? We want to feel like our day-to-day -day is of service and purpose. And if you're focused on what other people have, not what you are called to do or what brings you peace, it's stealing that from you. So embrace that today and catch yourself and ask yourself, why? Why am I saying this? And if it is truly what lights me up, they've inspired me, you can say, man, your lifestyle inspires me. What do you do every day to maintain that and get to live that life every day? Can you help me get there? So think on that. I hope you have a fabulous day. I hear a water trough overflowing. I better go turn.